guys welcome to my channel today we're going to cook some chicken rice noodles okay so first thing first I'm gonna add a half teaspoon of garlic okay then I'm gonna add my onions This is very simple to make. Okay. Next, I'm gonna drop my chicken. I cut my chicken small so they cook really fast. Okay. So when you are making any noodles, you can use any kind of meat. You can use seafood or pork or anything. It's up to you. But today I am using chicken. Okay. So we're gonna cook the chicken to probably like 10 minutes because we cut really small. Okay. So I'm going to add some black pepper, oh probably a teaspoon of black pepper, I love black pepper guys, okay, okay, I am using this magic syrup. This is like made by made in the Philippines. It really is is all-in-one seasoning. So I'm not gonna add any salt. Okay. Um, I have to taste first before I'm gonna add more um salt. But I don't think I'm gonna add some salt because I have to add some soy sauce in it. So yeah. We're going to continue cooking the chicken, okay, and then we're going to get some soy sauce. So the soy sauce I'm using, it is a seasoning soy sauce, okay. So I'm going to put probably four tablespoons of seasoning soy sauce. Okay. As you can see, the chicken is producing some juice, so we're going to continue cooking the chicken. Okay guys, so this is our rice noodles, okay? And I soak it for 15 minutes to soften the noodles, so a lot easier to cut with scissors. Um, I like to get my noodles not too long. Because if you don't cut half, they're tangled. They're tangled with the vegetables. You can't really mix all the ingredients. So that's how I made my rice noodles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to taste the chicken. Okay. They just need a little bit salt. So instead of using salt, we're going to add some seasoning soy sauce. Oh, another two tablespoons of salt soy sauce okay then we're gonna add this some water we have no chicken broth or any broth so we're gonna use um, hot water so I'm gonna add two and a half cup of hot water okay it's like that Again, it depends how much you're cooking your noodles. 
So mine, I'm not cooking a lot, but a lot of vegetables, I'm going to add a lot of vegetables, but the noodles, it's not a lot. So that's the reason I put, I just added two and a half cup of kohat water. Let me taste this. Mm. I'm going to add a little bit more salt, another. So this now six tablespoon of seasoning soy sauce. So I'm going to make eight. But remember guys, we are not using, we're not putting any salt. What we did, we used those two pack of Filipino five in one, oh no, all in one seasoning that made from Philippines. And you can buy that at the Asian store. I just advertising their products, don't I? Okay, so next, we're going to add our vegetables. Okay, don't overcook your vegetables. So I have add celery, okay, carrots. I love vegetables in my rice noodles. So we're gonna cook the vegetables half cooked, guys. Not overcooked, half cooked. So we're gonna cook this all four minutes. Just add all the seasoning first, okay? And make sure that all the seasoning is spreading to their vegetables. Make sure that it's really well seasoned the vegetables and the chicken. That is a this is a critical part. Okay, so I'm gonna continue cooking this for three minutes. Or well, not even three minutes, probably two minutes. Once they boiled, remember we put add hot water. So allowing this to boil, that once it boiled, I'm gonna take the vegetables out, everything, the chicken and all that. Okay. So we're gonna we're going to wait to boil for now, okay? Oh, I forgot, guys. I need to add the sweet papers, okay? Just like that. So we're just gonna let it cook. It's not boiling yet. So we're gonna wait a few minutes that's over waiting once it boiled we're gonna mix the vegetables and the chicken and then we take that out then we put the noodles so, well i don't want to explain more i just want you to watch it okay it's now boiling okay i'm gonna mix all the vegetables and the chicken Okay, and then I'm going to take this out, take it out, I do not like to overcook my vegetables. When I'm cooking anything I cooked, I do not overcook my um, vegetables. Because what happens is, if you have a leftovers and you're warm in the microwave, then they will overcook. You know, it's like, um, I don't, I like to feel the crunchy, the vegetable crunching still in your mouth rather than smooshy. So yeah. Hot, 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 hot. I know, guys, I'm crazy. I'm touching really hot food. I'm kind of used to it, though. Really. Okay. We got a little few vegetables left. No big deal. Now we're going to add our noodles. Okay? We're going to add our noodles just like that. You know what, I'm going to taste it again, just to make sure the seasoning is well balanced. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. 
It is so good. Promise, it's really good. Not because I'm cook, not because I'm the one cooking the food that I will say that, but it is really good. So after we're cooking this, I have to travel for thirty minutes to drop this to my grandchildren's home with their mom. Their mom, my oldest son's um, ex, it's sending me the message. They want me to cook some noodles, so I told her I can cook them since tomorrow is Mother's Day. And this is my grandchildren's favorite dish too, so I don't mind to cook for my family. Okay, so I'm going to wait to boil one more time, and then we put back our vegetables. Okay, that's how I cooked. Now another thing also, do not overcook your noodles, because it will be smushy. So I need to get another... So now it's boiling, okay, so I'm going to put back the vegetables, all the good stuff, here we go, okay, then I'm going to mix it, and the noodles still um, not completely cooked yet, the noodles will take a little bit longer. It's really easy to make, guys. Make this at home. Trust me, it's really easy. So I'm gonna continue this meal and burn the noodles. Oh, it's not. Okay, smell like burning. So continue mixing. Now, now you know why I just not complete cook the noodles because the cooking will continue once you add the noodles. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit more. I'm gonna taste the noodles. I don't wanna be overcooked. A little bit more. Okay, and then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn off my burner. Well, let me turn off my stove. But continue cooking because the burner is still hot. Did I say that? I think I, I'm talking nonsense. I apologize, guys. Sometimes I'm talking nonsense backwards, English backwards. Sometimes I'm talking with no grammar, so you can bash me if you want to. It doesn't hurt my feelings. But anyhow... So this is now done, okay, but we continue mixing it, continue stirring it, because the burner is still hot, okay. I'm going to taste again. Ooh, hot. Noodles still not completely cooked, guys. Okay. A little bit more. Okay. So now... I'm going to put this back in my stainless. What do you call this? What do you call this? Pan. pan. Stainless pan. I mean, I don't know. I can't remember what I'm doing, guys. Seriously. I got the brain part. Go ahead. You can use the big one. Anyway, lately I've been having a lot of brain fart. So. Okay, so this is done. Even though the noodle is not really completely, completely cooked, but I'm going to put it in the pan. And because it's really hot, the cooking continue. Just want you to know. So that way, kind of giving you ideas that you're not overcooking your noodles. So that's what I'm going to do. The noodles kind of a little bit more cooking too. Um, a little bit more cooking. But I'm not going to completely cooking on the stove. I'm just going to put it in my pan. Because the, the because of this juice, everything is really extremely hot, and so the cooking continue. And then I'm gonna cover aluminum foil, so it is really. Once I deliver this, it will be completely cooked. Okay, I mean this is cooked, but uh, the noodles is just a little bit more to cook, but no biggie, no biggie, guys. Okay.